Hi, my name's Charles and I'm one of the maths teachers from the Maxim Workshop. I'm just going to now teach you how to do some math. Hi, I'm going to show you how to convert decimal numbers into fractions. Right, the first thing we want to do is set out our decimals that we need to convert. So, we will take um, 0 0.25 we will take 0 0.4, we will take 0 0.1111 recurring, and we will take 0 0.232323, okay, recurring. So, um, the first thing that we're going to do here is say as 0 0.25 we have two numbers that go past um, the decimal point over on the right hand side okay so the way how to change this directly into a fraction is to multiply this by um, 100 so we would have that and then that and then we would get 25 so if we notice that then that means 25 divided by 100 gives us 0 0.25. So, 25 divided by 100 would give us 0 0.25. Now, again, just to re recap on what's happened there, if we wanted to move this decimal point back past the 25, we would need to multiply it by um, 100 which has two zeros so we would have one jump and then another jump okay so obviously if we want to change the decimal point which is here over here we would need to divide it by 100 so that's the way how to convert this back to that so again if you look at um, our value here we've got 0 0.4 um, the first thing we would need to do here is just to say how many times does our decimal point need to jump to our right to pass all of the entire number. Now, you can only see that we've got four here, so it's just going to be once. So, what we would do, we would just say four divided by ten. And that gives us the fraction that we're looking for. Now, over here, we have a repeated term. So we have 0 0.1111. Now, all you're looking to do is to look for what the repeated term is. Now, if you have one, that is the only number that has been repeated. So the fraction that we're looking to use is one divided by nine. So nine is always the number that you're using with repeated terms. Okay, so one divided by nine. Now, you can see that with this particular fract, I mean decimal, we have two repeated terms. So we've got two and three, two and three, two and three. So two and three is always recurring, okay? So to convert this into a fraction, what we would use is two nines to um, divide by. So 99. So we would take our 23, which is the repeated term, and simply divide it by 99. Now, with these two, we can just stop there because these two numbers are prime factors. So that shows you they're prime numbers. They, they cannot be um, broken down into more simpler numbers. But if you look at these two numbers, 25 and 4, they actually have more prime factors that compose them. So we can break these fractions down. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to show you how you can break this down. So 25 divided by 100 
we can break this down by dividing by five and we can break this down to divide by five, okay? So if we divide 25 by five, we arrive at the value five. If we divide 100 by five, we get to the value of um, 20. Now that's directly the first prime number that divides these two. Now if you want to look at another number that divides these two, it's again five. So, if you divide this by five, we get one. And if you divide 20 by five, we get four. Now, this is something for you to remember. 25 goes into 100 four times. So that means it actually is a quarter of 100. And that's what you get as the um, simplified fraction, a quarter. Now, when we take a look at this, four, divided by 10, we take the first prime number that can divide by four and divide by 10, and that we see is two. So we divide this by two, and we divide this by two. So four divided by two leaves us with two, and 10 divided by two leaves us with five. Okay. Now, if you notice this and this number, they are prime factors, okay? Or prime numbers. So you can't actually divide um, this fraction down any further. So four tenths is equal to two fifths, okay? And that's pretty much how you um, convert decimal numbers into fractions.